two, off and running. Where are we at? West Lost Lake? West Lost Lake, yeah. Yeah. Got a little bit of a climb this morning, so... <laughs> a little bit. What, 1,600, 1,700 feet, something like that, so... Uh, little, of a mile. In, in less than a mile, so it would be good. Yeah, it would be like a climb of stairs for a mile. Alright, so here we go. I'm not going to talk to you until we get up. Later. Tundra now, above tree line. Pretty cool, the trail's pretty much disappeared. I'll show you here in a second. And all we really need to do is uh, follow these big poles that you see as uh, trail markers. Just kind of aim yourself towards that, and that's the trail. So uh, I think we're going to rest up here for a little bit, put on the trail for a couple hours, and uh, just really enjoying the scenery up here. Just open tundra. I'm going to flip the camera around here in a second so you can see what I'm seeing. On the other side over here, uh, that big wall we saw yesterday, now we're on top of it. And uh, pretty sweet. So here's the pole. We climbed up on this plateau today. Just uh, really enjoying this. We don't see the uh, bright blue skies like we used to see here in September because all the fires that are in Utah and California and out west like that. So um, a little, little smoggy today from all those fires. Um, I can taste it. I can smell it a little bit once in a while. But it's not too bad. It's not affecting my lungs or breathing or anything. Alright, so I think we're going this way, somewhere. I'm going to have to find my next pole here. But I'm going to look at the map and have a little snack. Alright, oops. Got the sun in your eyes. Alright man, talk soon. See ya. So far pretty nice uh, walk through all this, but we came down right below those buffs, bluffs over there. We came down on the grass this way and then up here. Wasn't, wasn't really the trail. It wasn't really the trail, but um, kind of lost it. Of course, there's no real trail up here, but we're never getting back to it. Uh, no big deal. Just wandering around on the tundra. See ya. trek with the Chinese wall has just ended and we're about to head down to um, uh, Trappers Lake so uh, so that was pretty cool mostly about 12,000 feet um, everything above tree line so it was a it was a good day so far more to come and almost a Trappers Lake I want to show you this because um, it's an old forest fire uh, it took down a lot of this forest and you can see all all the lakes down here uh, without having to trying to guess where they are. So. That first one's Little Trappers, and then the big one back there is, is Trappers Lake. But, um, yeah, just uh, what two miles or so we'll be there. Later days.
uh, setting up camp is doing camp tours. And um, one of those things is getting some more water. That was some old water. I found this little creek here. I had to go through a jungle to get here, but I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> um, but I have my little knock pouch here where I'm going to put my what's called dirty water. And it's unfiltered. That's why it's dirty. And I'm just scoop it in here and get a bag full of this. And see what happens here. Gotta be careful not to um, stir up too much of the sediment because that gets in your filter. See, it doesn't work very well, so I cut off the bottom of a uh, water bottle and just fill up my fill my pouch that way. It's a little bit easier. And it doesn't stir up the sediment as much. So this is a two liter uh, container here. So this will be good for tonight. And I'll come and fill it up one more time uh, before bed, just so make sure I have enough water so I can just get up and go in the morning. And it'll be enough water to carry me through, you know, 10, 12 miles of the trail if I need to on two liters. So uh, it depends how hot it is, though. You know. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna lock this in here. And then we're going to go up to camp, and I'll show you how we filter it. Okay, so now we're back at camp, and I'm going to filter my water. So, this time I brought Sawyer Squeeze with me. Um, it's not my favorite filter, but it is super lightweight, and uh, it filters enough of the bad bacteria out of the water so I don't get sick. That's the whole point. So, screw this on top of here. Remember, this is my dirty water from the creek. These things don't always screw on straight, so you got to kind of watch it close. So you don't want to spill any of the dirty water accidentally into here, because then you have to start all over again. Okay. So I put a little sports top on on here to make it a little bit easier to filter. Let me show you. Nice and sturdy. And why do they call it a squeeze? Because you have to squeeze it to get the water to flow good. It takes a little bit longer than my uh, nice MSR Guardian, but um, again, that's that's like a pound and a half. I don't want to take that on a longer trip like this. So you can see this isn't super fast. But it gives me clean water for dinner time. That's really all there is to uh, filtering water. The Sawyer Squeeze and a little bit of creek water. So what I'm filling up here is a 0.7 liter uh, water bottle. So I just showed you how long it took. I didn't time it, but there we go. Cap this off, put it aside. And it's ready for more water later. Good stuff.